Hello, football family. Today, we're taking a look at Ravens rookie linebacker number 40, Malik Harrison. LJ Fort was out Sunday, and Harrison saw his most extensive action of the season, and he was very active. Showed up on the stat sheet. He was credited with 11 total tackles, six of them solo. Made his presence felt on special teams and defense. So let's jump into it, see how he did. Let's huddle it up. This is Indianapolis' first play from scrimmage, and it's one that Harrison would like to have back. Also circled Quentin Nelson, the Colts' left guard, and he's going to pull to the right, and it's going to fool Harrison. Harrison will be sucked inside, and the pitch is actually going to go left. And as we run the play, you can see Nelson takes off. Harrison follows him. Left tackle's coming out to block Harrison, but Harrison isn't there. And there's a wide open lane for Jonathan Taylor to run. Elliott will close, and Jimmy Smith got off his block, and he's going to make the tackle. Harrison usually has good eyes in the run game, but this is not a good example for him. You see, there's the left tackle wondering where Harrison is. He's trying to block him. He's way out of position. We're going to see some positive plays for Harrison. Mostly positive game for him. This is one of my favorite plays in the game for Harrison. He's matched up against Quentin Nelson. For those of you who don't know, Nelson's been in the league two plus years. He made all pro first two years on his way to another all pro. And Harrison's going to attack this gap, take on Nelson head up, and make the tackle. This is a big time collision. See it right there. Harrison shuts down two running lanes in the process. See Matabike there, Brandon Williams right here. They're both going to do their job. You can see this play is designed. There's a gap right there, a gap right there. Harrison's going to close the distance. Calls the running back to think, hesitate, cut back. Harrison still has his feet. Gets in on the tackle, makes the play. We'll get to see Harrison make a play on special teams here. Kick coverage. Ravens are going to kick it short. I'll just go ahead and let it run. You can follow Harrison's path. See him scrape towards the ball carrier, gets in, doesn't overrun it, makes the tackle. Welch gives him some help. And I also have to point out Pat Ricard on this play. It's always good fun watching him dominate another human being. You see Ricard circled. He'll come up, meet the first Colts defender, give him a seat. You see Harrison again make that tackle. It's a nice special teams play. And Harrison's the type of player that can contribute not only on defense, but can be a presence on special teams as well. Harrison is a very physical football player. We'll get to see that here, as well as some nice discipline. This run is designed to go to the right. Jalen Ferguson right here is gonna beat his man, the right tackle, and force the running back to cut back. And if you watch Harrison, he doesn't over pursue, stays home. Wolf gets off of his block, makes first contact, and then watch how Harrison finishes off the running back no yards after contact there. We'll take another look at it in full speed so you can get an idea of the impact. Big hit from Harrison. We'll get a chance to see Harrison in coverage here. Tight end number 80 Trey Burton is going to run a little slant crosser and settle in right where the line ends. Harrison will pick him up. See at the snap Harrison takes a couple of steps up Settles back in his zone, and he's going to follow Philip Rivers' eyes. See him drift over. The ball will be batted down. But if the ball wasn't batted down, Harrison will be there to either lay a big hit on the tight end, or he'll have a chance to make a play on the ball. If you take a look at Rivers' helmet, you can see where he's looking. Tries to look him off. Looks right back to Burton. Harrison notices Rivers locked in, and he's going to go over and make a play if the ball makes it to Burton. Harrison does a nice job here on kick coverage again, making a solo tackle. You see him circled. He'll do a great job avoiding blocks, trailing the play, voids a block there, sifts through their trash, and makes a tackle. Let's go ahead and take a look at it one more time. It's nice agility, good eyes, strong tackle, another nice play. Harrison is going to get caught being too aggressive here, overrunning his responsibilities. We'll take a look at it. It's part of the rookie process, learning process. There's the handoff. 
You can see his responsibility. He's getting blocked by the wide receiver, Pascal, and then just overruns it. Really no other way to say it. Take a look at it, regular speed. Seems to be some confusion there. Then Harrison, again, just a little too aggressive. Something he'll get better at with time. Harrison will do a nice job here in coverage, reading the play, shedding his block with authority and making the tackle. See him take his drop, block his futile attempt right there, and then he gets in, makes the play. Very physical player, shows up again and again with Harrison. Would have loved to seen him get some more time in the preseason because he seems to be hitting his stride right now. Not only do you have to be fast and physical to cover kicks, but you also have to be a little reckless. Harrison's not afraid to throw his body around. Check him out here on punt coverage. Does a nice job taking on the block and then disengaging. And it's off to the races and watch the force at which he hits the punt returner. Take a look at it one more time. Future's bright for Harrison, a third round pick. The more he gets used to the NFL game, the better he'll be. The Ravens found themselves something. Thank you for watching Huddle It Up Films featuring Malik Harrison. Harrison did a great job filling in, picking up the slack for an injured LJ Fort. We look forward to seeing him progress throughout his Ravens career. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next time.